Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Do we have any prayer request this morning? Uh, please continue to pray for the Okay, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness, Lord, and thank you for this privilege to come to your house, hear your word. I pray that uh, you would uh, be with um, uh, Miss Esther, Lord, and she's uh, having a hard time through the cancer, Lord. I pray that you would uh, touch your body so she can heal. You will come for her uh, through the word of God. I pray that you would be with, uh, I'm a Christian, that, uh, the brother, Lord. I pray that you would um, guide him, lead him, Lord, as he uh, just follow you, Lord, and uh, your perfect timing, he may just uh, come here at uh, IIBC, Lord, and uh, to serve you, Lord. I pray that you would, with his wife, if she's going to have a, the leg surgery soon, Lord, I pray that you would give Dr. Wisdom as uh, she is preparing the surgery, Lord. I pray that uh, you will be with Chu uh, Hyuk, Lord, and uh, he is uh, having a hard time uh, with the hands and bleeding, Lord. I pray that you would uh, uh, just give Dr. Wisdom, Lord, and uh, you would uh, uh, touch his body, Lord, and he get well. I thank you, Lord, and uh, this privilege to preach the word. I know I don't um, have any ability, Lord, and uh, uh, the change people's life, Lord, I pray that you would feel me in spirit as I preach the word uh, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This morning I'm going to preach on the Pagamas, the, the compromising church, Revelation chapter 2, verse 12 through 17. I'm going to read it here. And the angel of the church in Pagamas write, These things said he, which had the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught the Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to with things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So that thou also them that hold the doctrine of Nicolaitans, which things I hate, repent or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear that the Spirit said unto the churches, To him that overcometh, will I give it of the hill manna, and I will give him the white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. Here is the, the Bible says, and here, that Jesus Christ, our Lord, and speak with uh, here, and start a church, the speaking church of the Pagamas. And here's a verse 12, it says, And the angel of the church in Pagamas write, These things said he write, had the sharp sword with the two edges. We, we know that here that uh, Jesus Christ, uh, the word of God, in Hebrews chapter 12, 4, 12, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any twist sword, piercing even the divine ascent of soul and spirit. We know that I remember when I was little, there was a, um, that's a, that's a little, really little knife. There was a uh, surgeon knife. And then I just, it's so little and it's so sharp. And I just, you know, how it's sharp, I just, you know, cut only, I touched it and it just cut my finger here and it's bleeding. And the Bible says the word of God is the, the edge sword and not just the, here. I mean, how it's sharp the sword it cannot cut our, the, 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 the mind of our heart and our soul and our the think. But the, so the word of God has a powerful that it could break our heart, that it could change our soul through the word of there is that, that Jesus Christ is speaking to the, the church of the program. The point number one, that is the approval. Revelation chapter 2 and 13, it says, I know thy works where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, and thou hold fast my name. And Jesus Christ, he knew that, that, the, that the church of the Pogamas in the Satan's seed. Here the Pogama, church of self Pogamas called the great, greatest in Asia Minor. Pogamas had the first temple dedicated to Caesar. This is probably the, the, what it means by the Satan's seed in the Revelation 2.13. And also, the city also had a temple of dedicated to Archipelius, the God of the healing, 
That means that the twinkle that 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 the, uh, the serpent, the twinkle that on uh, the the pole, that is a step. The moose is the step. This is still using the medical the symbol. Probably you could see the ambulance in the hospital. That you could see the the symbol of the twinkle that the serpent with that the step. That the picture of that the god of the healing, the pagan gods. And of course, we know that the Satan is symbolized as uh, Satan. And the believers' pogromites had a suffered persecution. And one of their men, the name is Antipas, and he was slain, get killed. And he refused to drop the incense, the altar, and say, Caesar is the Lord. And he refused to worship the false gods. Antipas was a faithful mortal who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. And the Bible says, and Jesus cried, and he said, Thou, thou hold fast my name, not shame of his name, nor departed from the Christian faith. The great doctrine of the gospel, by the means thou hast been kept faithful. And he will not bow to the idol. He will not say the seizure is the Lord. There are a lot of the false the gods in that city. But the Antipas will not submit to the Rome the seizure. And I remember right after that saved and then you know, that probably you know that Korean people that there's a culture, you know, they the worship for father. You could call Chesa. You know, I'm the first Son, and my father was the first son, my grandfather was the first son, so I have a responsibility that all the time, you know, that, you know, since the four, four generation, they worship, they prepare the meal at midnight and bow. And after I got saved, and then it's my father and my, say, my brother here, and then my father, he bowed two times, and I, it was my turn, and I said, you know, I will not bow. I mean, my father, he's a very strict person, you know what I mean? In the chance I have no bowing here, you know what I said? And I will not bow. I will not compromise. And then the, my uncle passed away on Thursday afternoon. I went at the funeral, the same thing, the ceremony, the bow, and I will not bow. But the thing is, the one of that, you know, uncle, the all the relatives get together here, and then some of them that drink that, you know, alcohol here, the one of them offer me, hey, just, you know, just drink, drink that, you know, alcohol here that together. And I said, I'm in the ministry, I will not drink. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I cannot drink, I don't want to drink. And he said, you know, many, I saw even some people, you know, some pastor, they drink, you know, alcohol. And I said, you know, maybe he, he, he should have been the pastor, he should have, you know, you know, out of the, you know, <laughs> stepped down the altar. And then I said, I said to myself, and people, they're watching. The world there, they're watching who the Christian should be. And here the antipas, he will not, I mean, nobody will cut my head. You know, I mean, the bad thing happened, even in China, bad thing happened, they will be put me in jail. Nobody will cut my head off. And here you know, in Korea, we have a persecution. You know, COVID happened, the government that tricked the rule, and then the people cannot come to church, and, you know, there was no slaying the people. But the Antipas, he hold the name of Christ. He will not deny the name. And point number two, the accusation, verse 14 and 15. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them the whole the doctrine of Balaam, who took Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to with things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of Nicodemus, which things I hate. But all the believers of Pagamas were faithful before the Lord. Said the hand I've been able to destroy them as a roaring lion. The Bible says in 2 Peter 5 8, be sober, be vigilant, because of your adversary, roaring lion, walketh about seeking he may devour. And here's the Bible says, and then, then the, the, the church of the Pagama, Jesus Christ warning that the, 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 the devil does not come as a roaring lion. But the Bible says, you know, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, 14 says, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. It looks so good. 
But the, the devil used that good thing that you can miss the best thing. And the church of Pergamon, that is a compromising church. The devil does not come in front of you, in front of the door here, make you to sin, let you accept the world, the sin of the world. The devil try to pad your bag and use the back door. Hey, just a little bit of sin is okay. The little bit of worldly is okay. The little bit of that, the worldly music is okay. Just a little bit, come. Come in a little bit. And it's just a little bit and a little bit. The doctrine of the Balaam. You know the story of Balaam here and then um, Nicodemus, uh, Nicodemus they, the man's name is the, the rule the people, to rule the people. What they taught is called the doctrine of Balaam. The Hebrew name Balaam also means Lord of the people, the same meaning with Nicodemus. This group believed that Lord over the people led them astray. There is a people in the church, Nicolaitans, and the, the, the teaching that the, the doctrine of the Balaam. And you know that the story in the, the story of the Balaam here that the number chapter 22 and through the 24. And here is a Balaam, there's one of the king that hates Israelites want to destroy the Israelites. But he knows that the you know, Israelites is on that God side. God bless the Israelites. So the Balak hired the Balaam, the God prophet, and cursed Israel. Give them money. And of course, you know, when they, you know, the Balaam and tried to curse the Israelites, of course, he, he blessed them. God will not allow the prophet to curse the Israelites, God's people. God will bless the Israelites. But the devil has a way to convince him. The king of the Bela, that money was worth it to give the prophet Balaam. The Balaam, he came to the Bela king, the way to make the Israelites to sin. Give them advice. The Israelites would, would, would marry the, the daughter of the Mohan. You know, the Bible says here, they, Israelites, they got into that trap of their sin. And Numbers chapter 25 and, you know, 1 through 5, and the Israel abode in the smitten, and the people began to come in them with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods. And the people did eat and bow down to their gods. The devil knows exactly. They cannot beat them. But hey, why don't you join here? You can marry here that the daughter of the Moab is so beautiful lady. You can enjoy him. And of course that the daughter of the Moab the worship false gods. And as they for, you know, worship false gods, they all Israelites, and when they the marry men, they also they follow that that the, the wives, the false gods, they bow down and the wicked the sin, the fornication. And how the God says here. <coughs> Verse 3, Numbers chapter 25. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peer, and the anger of the Lord was a candle against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people, and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, and the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. And the Bible says the anger of the Lord and kindled. And God was not happy. God was angry toward that sin. The way of the building. The sin came to the Israelites and destroyed them. That because of the sin, the Israelites sin, the Bible says in here, verse 5, and Moses here, and, and those that died in the the, the plague was 20 and 4,000. 
If it's because of a sin, and God will not accept that. God was, God's anger is a fear, and 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 then then, then God God killed that twenty four thousand Israelites. And we know that you know God is merciful, He is love, and we know that in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world. But God is also consuming fire. God will not let Israelites to sin. Let them sin in that and destroy the whole nation. And God killed 24,000 Israelites. They killed them. Nicolaitans. And also God is warning to all the other churches in local church. The local church should be pure because in picture of that as a, the, the bride of the Christ. And then here is the Jesus Christ our Lord and then, and then rebuke that those members who in follow the Balaam of the doctrine of the Balaam who is uh, accepted the doctrine of Nicodemus who is that the world is okay, just a little bit of world is okay. Come, let, let the world, the music and all the influence of the world came into that this church is okay. And here's the point number three. Admonations. Verse 16 and 17. That because of sin and Jesus Christ our Lord, the only one word speak to that church. How they God 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 will be merciful to the church, and He said one word: repent. Or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Here is Antipas; he he felt the sword of the Rome. He will not compromise what he believes. And the Rome, that Rome sword and killed him. The Antipas, he felt that sword of the Lord. But he is a church and a pogma who is allowed that the sin, the wilderness into the church, and they will experience, experience the sword of the Lord. God, the, the word of God, I will come and quickly. They will experience the sword of the Lord. They will come. This is not means I will come to you. It's not the Lord return. It's not means the Lord is returning there. This is the prison church. God will judge that church. Because the church that will compromise with the world. He said, I will come quickly. And I was in America. I know we are the fundamental independent Baptist. There are many in the Baptist church and accept that the wilderness. The system music come in and, and drums and you know, all kinds of things in that, in that church. Preaching word is, is very simple, just a few minutes probably. The people come here and all can rock and roll and all that sweep that the country of that, that the Baptist church. But he start with a little, little start. Hey, just why don't you just let, 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 you know, the young guys, they're not going to come to church. You know, why don't you just, just a little bit of music changing. It's just, you know, I mean, it's just enjoyable. Not just him, not just he and I, but you know, him. You know, let, let, let's bring some, you know, excitement, you know. And the worries will come into it now is to overtake the church. Slowly, slowly. I remember when I was uh, the little, and my mom and she wanna make a medicine for my uh, father. You know, you know the big that the uh, uh, common cheese that is a big fish, right? And she wanna make the soup and they give to that you know like medicine to my father. So I remember that in the boiling water and they were a little bit hot and the garment put that in the, you know, we to put the garment inside. You know, what happened? There was the water, it's hot, so what happened? The big fish jump out at the pot, boom, and they go everywhere, right? It's not gonna work, so what happened? And then all the water is out, so put the, you know, cold water, and then what happened? The temperature was so little, just a little bit of the, the temperature boiling, the garment. He was swimming in the water. Slowly, getting warm and slowly, 
slowly. And the later and I look at the outside, his skin is turned as white. There's no, a little bit of resistance, but you know, I can hold that thing. But not like the hot water. Put in that thing and it would jump in, you know, but, but slowly, slowly. That's what that, the Satan wants to kill churches. That's what the Satan wants to kill us in our life, our family. Slowly. Hey, the brings in a little bit. Come here. Hey, hey, you get tired, you watch that pornography, okay? You watch it tired, just relax a little bit. Hey, hey. Just, 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 you know, you know, I mean, and, and doing things is okay, those things. He will never imagine fell in the fornication or adultery with one of the ladies. But a little bit of sin come into The focus on the world, hey, the make money. Hey, it looks so happy in Hollywood. Man, look at that. It's so, they have a lot of money and pleasure. Look at this. And all we focus on, what is the meaning of our life? We say we believe in God. But we don't have any the desire even want to share gospel with those people. That we don't see those people as a soul. And the Monday morning, my mom they call me. There's an uncle. My mom, mom's sister's husband, he had a cancer, liver failure because of that alcohol. Yeah, I wanted to see him, and I came here, I knew that I would visit, but because of Corona, those things, and, you know, he didn't want to see me. So, my mom said, you know, that, that, that the aunt called mom, and there she's on the, in the, on the way to that, uh, um, um, the Yuyang one, because that, his time is really short. So, I called my aunt, my, you know, you know I, I want to go and see him, and he said, because of Corona, don't come, you know, he may not hold you. I want to go, I want to go and see him, because, you know, I, I got to go in and share gospel with him. They said, okay, come. So I drove about, about three hours, you know, right after, you know, here, and I went there, and I, I got there about 1.30, and there is uh, my aunt, and there, you know, the, 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 the her two sons there, and they were still waiting here, and I, you know, they knew that I'm, you know, here the missionary, and here I just share God's with them, open the Bible, and share God's with them. I asked them, you know, one of them, that my aunt would sometimes go to church, and are you really born again Christian? Are you Christian? Are you born again? You know, I'm not. All of them. I just opened the Bible. How can you say? How can you be born again? And then just then the God gave the opportunity. I went there, and my uncle had a, the 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 accident, the mask, and, and breathing so fast. And I said, you know, uncle, I'm so sorry. I came here so late here, and then you know, I mean, I, I should have came here and say hi. But you know what? The the death is coming. But but God loves you. God God wants you to save your soul. The Bible says, for all have sin and come short of the glory of God. All we born in sin, all we don't have. But Jesus Christ loves you and he down the cross for your sin and rose you from the dead. He was open the eyes a little bit. But there was no response. But as I just praying and crying and begging and I just, you know, share God's reading again and again and again. Probably 10, 15 minutes and he just opened his eyes. Oh, God, he said, save me, I'm here. And he just opened his eyes. And I just shared God so with him here again. And then, in the later, you know, you know, the, you know probably 10 minutes later, and, and his breathing is getting shorter. Slower. And maybe 25 or 30 minutes later, I, I just pray. And I say, amen. You know what happened? He stopped his breathing. I believe he got saved. When he probably he just he when he he, he accepts Jesus because he's listening. He because he cannot speak, but he's listening. I can see he's moving his mouth. But when he they accept Jesus Christ as a personal savior, he just probably the open his eyes. There's no pain, there's no agony, he just open his eyes. Probably he saw that the, the heaven is open like a steven. That Jesus Christ, he saw that Jesus Christ, the angel came and hold him. His soul to heaven. Through the testimony, I, I share gospel. My aunt, my uncles, here, all that my relatives. Because one day, all we're going to die. But there is a judgment. But the Jesus Christ. He loved us. He died on the cross for our sin. 
You know, my uncle used to, used to you know, you know, have, used to have money, get a car. You know, what kind of car is that? Push! You know, I mean, it's not just like a one minute, I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> whoa! But he should not say, do you think he has a real peace? And I told him, true peace. I don't have a lot of money, but I have a true and joy and peace because I'm safe. In the funeral, they're crying, and I said, Aunt, don't cry. He's in heaven. This is just um, it's nothing. The real person that is in soul, that one day he will go to heaven or hell. But do we know? We know the truth. The truth is telling us. But do we have the compassion? Do we have the heart for the soul, the compassion? When Jesus, when he saw the multi, he was moved to compare. Do we have that? Do I have that? Do we have the persecution? But we just like, oh, Corona. And all we drag our feet to the church. In home, we all the dragging in here in our lives. It's, everything is hard. Because that's what the exactly devil wants us. Just serving God with our own flesh. Dragging it. And it should be there's excitement. The love of Christ strengthens us it's every day. But sin wants to pull us out. That's what they in Pagamah, the slavery of sin. The doctrine of rebellion, the sin of living the world, compromise the world, come, and they lose their power. And Jesus said, I will come and quickly. And verse 16, it says, Repent away as I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath a near, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give an eat of hid manners. And we know that here the hid manna, and, and God the feed the Israelites with the manna, heavenly food. And the Bible says here, and Jesus said, I am the bread of life. John chapter 6, 35, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. John 6, 15, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. The doctor of the bell and Nicolaitans, they will feed us that idolatry, that, that the fornication. But Jesus Christ said that I'm the living order, I'm the living the bread. I want to give you everlasting life. I'm the, I'm, I'm, I want to give you the peace and joy and comfort through the word of God. And we'll give him the white stone. And here is the white stone, and then and those times the white stone used to put in the vessel by, by a judge to vote for a person for a trial. If you get a black stone, he's guilty. It's a white stone, he is not guilty. And also there's a tradition and it says, and 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 that is like a you know gift and like a ticket and the an invitation to a the feast. And here the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3.20, Behold, I send the door and knock. If any may hear my voice and open the door, and I will come to him, and he sub with me, and he with me. That is the ticket to join the supper with Christ in heaven, who is to overcome that faith. And also someone says that is that, that on that those days like as a kid, there's a stone, they put the name on it. Of course, and here the Bible says, a stone and new name written, which no man knoweth saving that they receiveth it. Of course, and God is not going to change our name, but there are a lot of names about Jesus. Because when you think about Jesus, what is the name of Jesus Christ? When I think about the name of Jesus Christ, He is that He's merciful. He's a faithful. He's a comforter. He's a my strength. He's my rock. He's a gracious second chance. May we get to, get to heaven where we hold the name of that, the Jesus Christ, meaning of the Christ. And maybe Jesus Christ, he will give us that, the white stone. Maybe he will see that. Maybe you will have a hard time, but you hold the faith that you move forward and God will comfort you. And Jesus will comfort you. Maybe your name will be, 
What's the meaning of Jesus? Comforter. He's my comforter. Maybe their name, their comforter will be given to your name. Only you know. Only would Jesus know what is that secret name. The what name will be in that stone? What we just allow sin in our lives and fail with the sin and rebuke by the Lord. But how you set things? But God is merciful, He is gracious. Let us beg God. Please speak to my heart, speak to your heart. If there's anything in our lives, God will please speak to me. Then I will repent. Get rid of that sin. Get rid of that, uh, the false doctrine of the building, the good And I want to come to you and receive that, that joy and peace. That you could have that right now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your goodness, Lord, and thank you. The truth, Lord, and I the pray that you would help us to be faithful, Lord. I know that the world, the sin, the devil, Lord, and try to convince us, try to just um, to make us to, uh, to allow to sin, Lord. I pray that you would the whole faith, uh, fast that what we believe, Lord, and the word of God. I pray that you, we cannot overcome the sin with our own strength, Lord. I pray that uh, you would help us to uh, trust you, Lord, and have a faith in you that we could overcome the sin through your power. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ, which is strength and me, Lord. I pray that you would uh, uh, help us to, to glorify you everything we do, everything we say. Uh, thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.